Hi, I'm George Self. This video is one in a series designed to help with Logisim Evolution Digital Logic Labs. This video demonstrates the test vector. It is critical that designers thoroughly test their circuits to ensure every possible combination of inputs yields the expected output. While poking each input would work, in complex circuits it would be likely that one or more combinations would be accidentally overlooked. And if those combinations failed in the field after the circuit was put into production, it would be disastrous. For this video, the circuit built in Lab 1, a two-way, two-bit multiplexer, is going to be tested. The first step is to create a test vector file. And here is the file I made for this test. This is a simple text file that can be created with nothing more complicated than Notepad. In a test vector file, any line that starts with a crosshatch is considered a comment. So line 1 here is simply a comment that describes what this test vector is designed to test. The very first non-comment line lists all of the inputs and outputs. And you'll see for my circuit, I had a select input, an input 1, and an input 2. Those are all listed in order. Then I have one output named output 1 or out 1. In order to ensure that I that I cover every possible combination of inputs, you'll notice for the inputs I've treated them as a 3-bit binary number. And I simply count from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. This is a best practice to ensure that you don't accidentally overlook some input combination. Then I have to set my anticipated outcome, the expected outcome. So in my mind, I thought about if select were zero, in one were zero, and in two were zero, what should the output be? And that would be zero. Then I went to select zero, in one is zero, and in two is one. Well, in that case, the output should be one. And in the same way, I mentally went through every possible combination of inputs and determined what the output should be. Now the next step is to actually run this test. And to do that, we click on Simulate and Test Vector. And Logisim opens up the Test Vector window. So my first step is to load our vector file. Now I've stored mine on the desktop, so let me go to the desktop here. And the example test is the name of the file. I'll open that up. And here is my file. And you'll notice that Logisim Evolution automatically ran each of these tests. And it indicated that eight tests passed and none failed. There's also a status line here, so you can see that all eight tests passed. This tells me that this circuit is working properly. Now let's try something out here. Let me open up this test vector file again. And just for the heck of it, let me change this last uh, expectation to zero. Imagine that I expected uh, all ones, a, a select of one and input and, and input one is one and input two is one to yield a zero output. Let me save that file come back into our test vector and load that file again. Example test and open. Notice now Logisim Evolution reports there was a failure. With 111 set, the output was 1, but what was expected was 0. This is the way that I can test all of my combinational circuits and make sure they are working properly. Now that's about it for this video. Good luck with your labs. I'll be seeing you online.